bitch. Grab your grab your snacks right now. This that, that's all I'ma say. Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Skyler Marie. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. But nah, for real, my name is Skyler Marie. If you haven't seen my face before, and if you have seen my face, what's up, bitch? You know the vibes. You know the motherfucking vibes. But, hey y'all, hey. How are y'all today? How are y'all doing? How have y'all been? I'm not even gonna do too much rambling. Y'all read the title? Yes, me and my teacher fought, okay? Yeah, because, bitch, yeah. It wasn't even a fight for real. I just smacked him one time and, yeah. I want to give a disclaimer before I start the video. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been showing love to my channel, um, who has subscribed, all of that. My dreams are really coming true. I really am working towards being this full-time YouTuber. Um, we're going to work our way up, okay? I just want to thank everybody who has viewed my channel who has watched multiple videos who has liked and even commented like i like when y'all comment it makes me feel good and yeah so anyways enough rambling let's get right into the story bitch okay so this story time took place in eighth grade let's just say that now i was 12 at the time i'm about to be 21 this year so this happened almost 10 years ago so not too much on me i couldn't find the original paper from this incident. I'm really just gonna tell y'all like what I can remember. But I literally almost remember the story to a T because bitch, this was really traumatizing for me. Yeah, let's get right into the video. This took place in eighth grade. Let me see what date this was because I do have a few receipts that I could show y'all. Okay, so this happened March 24th, 2017. And that was literally the day after my dad's birthday. I'm gonna give you guys a backstory. Another disclaimer, I'm sorry, but I don't want y'all to feel bad for me or no way, you know, feel for me. I've grown to grown past the situation type shit. So it's like, yeah, but bitch, if you play with me, you will be dealt with. I'm not playing with you. Stop the internet games. Let's do it for real now. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. <laughs> This is the backstory. I mentioned this before. All my life, my dad really took care of me. Um, my dad was a single parent. My mom passed away when I was one years old. With that being said, people have to grow to live on with life. So of course he had different girlfriends and shit like that. So I'ma just say that now, okay? This particular girl that we're gonna talk about that my dad used to date, we're gonna call her Grinch. That's what we're gonna call her because that's the vibes that she gave off. And bitch, if you're watching this, I don't fuck with you. Fuck these bitches, they be trying me. And dad, I'm sorry, but you really think I liked her. I really did not. I, pr I promise you, I put that on my mama. I did not like that bitch. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give y'all a little insight of what it was like going home. Okay, so boom. So my dad was dating Grinch. The gag is, bitch, he used to date her before. I went over her house before and we made cupcakes. Like, she was cool then. Like, bitch, what the fuck happened to you? My dad used to date Grinch before this other lady that he used to date. So I already met Grinch. I already knew who she was type shit. After the girl that my dad wasn't dating anymore, him and Grinch start talking again. Now, this time it got serious and shit. Grinch and her baby had moved in with us, right? I'm not gonna lie, I don't have any siblings either. So when she came with the baby, I'm like, oh shit, like, I'm fucking with this. Like, bitch, I always wanted a little sister type shit, you know? I'm playing with the baby and stuff. Like, I really remember the day that she came to this house. She came to the house, she dropped the baby off literally in the living room. I was already in the living room. And I start touching the baby and holding the baby and stuff. Okay, fast forward, fast forward. Then, you know, it's different when somebody live with you. That's when you know they true colors, when they fucking live with you. I believe it was either fourth or fifth grade. That's when she started dating my dad. And then they broke up when I was in like seventh grade going into eighth grade. But this incident was in eighth grade. The time's gonna match up, the time's gonna match up. Just, just sit back. So now she living with us, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool, I could get with this. Whatever, whatever. It was a gambling problem that she had, so she will always leave me with the baby. And the only time y'all hoes love y'all kids, only time y'all hoes love y'all kids is income tax season. <laughs> Sick of you hoes. I was 
old enough to stay at home by myself at this time, so she will leave me with the baby. For one, this is not my kin. Like, let's just say that there. Even though I know, yeah, y'all working up to being serious, this is not my kin. Why is you leaving your kid with me? No shade. I don't know, she had like attitude problems. Let me give y'all an instance. I remember this, I remember this so bad. That's how you know somebody put you through some trauma ass shit when you remember every fucking detail, like for real. But nah, fifth grade bro, my fucking cousin, he had a pool party, right? At a hotel, whatever. We young as hell, the parents was gonna be there, all that. So, I wanted to go there so bad, so bad, so bad, but my great, like, I got my tits back and the grade wasn't good. Grinch came home and went through my book bag, empty out my book bag the same day of the damn pool party that I was supposed to go, right? I think I don't know if I had my bag packed. I'm pretty sure I did. Y'all <laughs> the fuck the bitch from the um the bad report grade and tell me I couldn't go, da da da. da. And she had my dad whoop me. Ever since that day, bitch, I did not fuck with you. Like, ever since that day, bitch, you're bitter as hell. Some time go past, some time go past. They ended up getting engaged, which I really ain't fuck with, but I'm a kid. I can't say shit about that. So, fast forward, an incident happened at a bowling alley. I'm not gonna get into too, too much. But basically, y'all get the gist of how she was. Like, the bitch was weird as fuck. Let's just say that. Oh! <sighs> bitch. Mind you. I was in sixth grade. I remember we had this teacher and she could not control the classroom for shit. Like nothing. She ended up getting fired that same year. But Grinch had came to the school and came into my classroom. And everybody like, who parents is that? Who parents is that? It was her and my dad. And I'm just looking around. I'm like, bro, this cannot be happening right now. Y'all, would y'all believe this bitch walked over to me and made me empty my desk in front of everybody? That shit was so fucking embarrassing. Like, bitch, who the fuck are you? You're not my mother. You're not. Yeah, I be having stepmoms and stepdads. Y'all gotta be fucking careful because these motherfuckers weird as hell. I promise you, if I was my age now, bro, none of that would have fucking slid. Like, bitch, you're crazy as hell. We gonna fast forward to eighth grade. That's eighth grade. My dad and her wasn't together anymore. At the time, his friend stayed with us or whatever, right? The day before the incident, mind you, this school that I went to, it was very like strict like very strict you couldn't talk in the hallways if you seen a friend or something y'all could chop it up as a whole group with your teacher and shit you couldn't talk in the hallways but kids always talk in the hallways didn't matter they said they were prepping us for high school but <laughs> no you wasn't so the day before the incident i got kicked out this class so it was a science class um we're gonna name the teacher doofenshmirtz Finesse a verb. Oh, that go together too. I'm smart. Okay. Now let me stop playing. But nah, um, okay, so I was in Doofish Merch class, right? The day before. And basically we were talking up on the way to his class. And like I said, we couldn't talk in the hallways and shit. So you know him. He started yelling and shit. Mind y'all, nobody liked him for real because he was always yelling. Like he was always mad at something. We get in the classroom, whatever. We sit down. It's this boy in the back of the class. And he a fucking class clown, y'all. He a fucking class clown. So, he was doing some shit that had made me laugh. And the teacher thought I was laughing at him. I know I gotta go. I gotta wear my punishment. I should've never did it. But I don't really think I should've never did it. I don't know what I think. I'm not gonna lie. We kids, yeah, we gonna laugh when teacher yells. But, like, be fucking for real. The way I was laughing, I was not laughing at you, babe. So, he gonna tell me to get out. So, I'm not gonna lie, back then I was a fucking high head. I said, okay, and I will with your bald headed ass. And I, ooh. And I walked out of his fucking classroom. So, um, once they tell you to get out of class, you gotta go to the principal office bench. So we had three different principals. Basically, each floor had a principal. So I ended up going to the principal's office. I sat on the bench, he wasn't there. So I think I, I think I either just eventually left or he came or he just told me to go back to class because I don't think I sat with him. I don't think so. Y'all, but keep in mind, I was already like a little bit on thin ice because I got suspended for the first time. Like out of all my school years, I got suspended for the first time like a couple months before that for recording a fight. As long story short, I ended up going back to class. At the time, his punishment, the science teacher, his punishment was 
writing textbooks. So he made us write textbook and shit for punishments. I'm like, fuck it, I ain't doing that. Like, I ain't kicked out your class. I'm already, no, I'm not fucking with you, so I'm not doing it. After that, I go home. My dad's like, oh, Grinch is coming to stay with us. Run, run that the fuck back. Run that the fuck back. What did you just say? What you mean she coming to stay with us for the weekend? I'm not staying here. I swear, I'm not staying here. If she's coming here, I'm not staying here. No, I don't like her. Like, I really don't like her. I'm not gonna lie. One girl my dad used to talk to, um, I still fuck with her. Like, if I see her in person, I'd be like, hey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. If I seen Grinch in person, I promise you, I would just look at her and just keep walking. I'm not talking to you, bitch. You're weird as hell. I'm like, bro, I gotta think how to get out this house for the weekend. At the time, my school did like, if your parents um, say it's okay for you to go over such and such house, and if their parents say it's okay, da 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 da. But basically, each parent on each side um, can send a note to school with their kid to get a yes or a no so they could ride the bus with them or whatever, whatever. How that works. So. My, I'm like, okay, so in the morning, I'm asking my dad to write a note so I could go over to my cousin's house, da 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 because at the time, one of my cousins was to my school. So, I'm like, okay, cool. Now, y'all, the day come, the morning come, I'm like, dad, can you sign this paper for me, da 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 to go over to money house for the weekend? He told me no. This bitch and I stand for what I do, that's just that. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I had a whole motherfucking fit. Like... Parents, take notes. Like, if your kid is telling you that they don't like somebody that you're fucking with or dating, please, it, it's a reason behind that. They not about to just say that for no reason. It's a reason behind that. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now, I'm walking to the bus stop. The bus stop was at the end of my street. I'm sitting there mad as fuck, mad as hell. Everybody on the bus, they like, Skyline, what's wrong, Skyline, what's wrong? Y'all, I'm not talking today. And I put one of those. I posted on my story. I remember. I posted on my story. I said, I'm not talking to nobody today. I'm pissed the fuck off. Like, and at that young ass age, clock it. But at that young ass age, bitch, I was cursing too. So, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm pissed off. Nobody talks to me today. Da, 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 da. So, you know how like you when somebody usually say that they ended up they end up talking by first period nah bitch i got to school mind you i got to school right so the way our school was set up it was like the school is in front and then the the okay so this is the school right if i'm looking at y'all this is the school and where my hand is right here this is the end of the school and then this is the driveway so the driveway was going around the school in the back so we would go to school through the back door. So, um, the bus ended up dropping us off. So I go to the cafeteria, get my breakfast, bring it upstairs. Yeah, this whole time I'm mad, like I'm mad as hell. So I get to school, whatever. And I'm not gonna lie, I had to start crying. <laughs> I start crying, so boom, I got my head down. I'm crying and shit. I don't like when people hear me cry or know that I'm crying, so I put my head down. I'm silently crying. People asking me if I'm okay, I'm like, yeah, like I said in the toe job. Doofus Snorts, the science teacher, he loves giving us textbook work for punishment. And I didn't do it. I didn't do it that day. So mind y'all, mind y'all, I already got this bitch that I don't like coming to my house for the weekend and I gotta stay there with her ass. Now, you coming in the classroom asking for something I don't have. And I'm crying. He come in the classroom and he asks everybody for their papers from the textbook or whatever. I still got my head down. So then he gonna say, I see Skylin ain't come to school today. <laughs> you ain't see who at school? Y'all, when I say, I pick my head up off that desk so motherfucking fast. I said something. Oh, yeah. So then he was like, oh. Come on, cause he wanted me to come to his classroom to do some extra bullshit. Cause yesterday when I caught his ass ball headed. I'm like, I'm not going over there. He just start yelling like, like it's eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. Why are you so mad? Like, baby, I'm 12 years old. Why are you so mad? Hmm? Who pissed the y'all motherfucking cereal today, boo? 
But nah, so I'm like, nah, I'm not going. My teacher ended, my teacher, cause I was in homeroom. So we didn't switch classes yet. So my teacher come over to me, he like, Skylin, just go ahead, go. So I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like I'm getting mad because I'm already mad, but nobody know why I'm mad. Let's just keep that in mind. Nobody knows why I'm mad already and shit. Cause I don't like people in my business for real. He like, just go with him. So I'm like, bro, nah, like the fuck, like, no. People could get under my skin so easily and I just hate that for me. Like, I just hate that for me. So I'm gonna I'm work on that. But like, I was just getting heated. Like my, my skin was crawling. The breakfast I told y'all that I had got from the cafeteria. Why did I throw it at him? <laughs> remember if I had my cereal poured yet but I definitely did throw my shit at him I feel like something was leaking though bitch he started getting buck with me more so I'm like bro like I don't want to hear this right now I really don't I got my own shit going on at home nigga the fuck I was acting like I was going to his class right smooth with it walking up to him do -do 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 -do. Took my hand back. It smacked the shit out of you. I smacked the shit out of you, okay? Bitch, I just hate when teachers think they your parents. Like, I'm sorry, when I have kids and shit and they tell me a teacher getting buck with them, it depends on the situation. But bitch, don't talk to my kid like they your kid. Don't do it. The fuck? Who would you talking to? Cause y'all be real smart in the motherfucking mouth. So boom, I slapped them, whatever. I'm gonna put the pictures and shit on the screen. Um, long story short, I was yelling and shit, and my principal, I guess he got the wind of it, because he was already up here. I got, I gained in the list subscriber, y'all. We at 445 subs when I'm recording this. But, nah, um, what, what I was gonna say. Oh, so he, he caught wind of it in the hallway, because his office wasn't that far from my classroom. Okay, so this is the first picture of the principal walking up to the class. I'm gonna put them on the screen too. And then this is the principal and the teacher. Um, Doofusmirts is the one with the bald head. But you could see me, it's three people. You could see me on top of his head. I just smacked his ass, cause it's like, who is you talking to? I don't give a fuck if I'm a kid or not. Give respect. Like, anybody could tell y'all I'm really genuine. Like, y'all could tell yourself I'm really genuine. But it's like, once you keep picking, picking, and it's like, you're a fucking teacher. Why are you so mad? Like, I, that's my genuine ass question for him. Because he was the only teacher that was really that mad. Like, every day we came into school, he always had an attitude or you always hear his loud ass mouth. Clock that T. Clock that T. But, yeah, so after that, everybody ended up having to write a statement. So this was my statement. Y'all, while I'm looking at the screenshot, and it's saying 9.35 in the morning. Bitch, school didn't even fucking start yet. What the fuck? Yo, this shit say 9.15. Anyways, okay, so this is my statement. I said, last night I was on the phone with Blink and I told her to say happy birthday to him as my dad. And out of nowhere, he's going to say that his ex that I don't like and her daughter is coming to stay with us for the weekend. And I was screaming, y'all, yeah. that's how you know, like, I'm going to say this again. If your kids tell you that they don't like who you're dating, please take that into consideration. Because you and your kid come as a package deal, and if your kid doesn't like somebody, it's for a reason. Kids are not just gonna say that they don't like anybody just for no reason. Okay, so I don't know where he's gonna say that his ex that I don't like and her daughter is coming to stay with us for the weekend, and I was screaming, and he knows I do not like her. Then I told him I wasn't staying for the weekend, so I wrote a note to go to my cousin's house for the weekend. I said I was gonna have him sign it and he wouldn't. I got mad so I left the house and I slammed the door. None of my family likes this girl and they don't like the way that she treats me so I was already mad when I got to school. When I got upstairs I started crying and 
they kept asking me what's wrong and I wouldn't answer. So then Mr. Doofish Smirts was like, Skylin isn't here. When he looked at me and he already started yelling at me and I didn't do nothing to him. Also, anyone knows that I get mad and annoyed fast. I hate that for me, so that gotta change. But that was basically my, my little statement, you know. So this was my actual teacher statement that I was in homeroom with. Bro, this shit is stressing me out. Why the fuck do you write this small? Doofus Smurfs had told Skylin that she was gonna be doing a writing assignment in his class first period during AIS. He came to my room to collect an assignment from my homeroom class and informed Skylin she'll be going to his classroom basically to do an assignment. I was doing attendance at my desk and Doofus Smurfs called for Skylin to come to his room. She ignored him. He said that it would be a write-up or some other consequence. She yelled, screamed, all right, stop talking to me. <laughs> she then got up, threw her breakfast at him. I got up, walked to her desk to receive her homework. When I looked into the hall, Skylar was resisting the, the principal to go to the office. Then I noticed Doofus Smurfs picking up his glasses from the floor. I followed the principal and Skylin towards his office as she continued to resist and yell. Because bitch, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me. F I'm really the definition of fuck around and find out, bitch, cause yeah, fuck around and find out, okay? Now this is the statement from Doofus Smurfs. At 9.15 I entered the room to bring Skylin to my room to address disruptive behavior in yesterday's science class. She refused to come at first. When she was directed repeatedly to comply with directions, she lost control and screamed at me to shut the fuck up. As she charged at me simultaneously, then she got up to the doorway. She slapped me across the face very hard, sending my glasses to the floor. This was done in plain view of the principal and my homeroom teacher. At this point, the principal escorted her to his office. After that, like I got four mode. I didn't even graduate eighth grade, y'all. That's not really cool. Um, if you're young and you're watching me, do not do anything I do. School is very, very important. But I did get that the high school diploma. So bitch, don't play with me. But after that, um, they took me to the principal's office. I wrote my statement. Then my dad came and got me. One of my principals, I will never like her words will stick with me to the day I yeah um she's gonna say what the fuck is wrong with you you need to go to she said something i need counseling or something bitch you don't know shit about me so shut the fuck up i should smack your ass too because bitch who the fuck is you talking to i just feel like that was very ignorant like i don't know lord please don't give me no kids and they fucking teachers acting fucking walky as hell because bitch i promise you then after that I got a hearing, I had to go to a hearing at City Hall and all that bullshit. And I got placed into an alternative school, which I only went to school for like two hours. Um, and it was from four something to like six. So yeah, that was that. Um, after that, I just went to high school, bitch, and just carried on with life. So I technically stayed about like two and a half months in alternative school. So yeah, that was that. Um, that's the time I had to slap my teacher across the face for talking dumb shit. If you guys want any more story times for me, um, I have a lot of story times. I've been through a lot of shit. So yeah, um, just let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see from me. If you guys stay this long, I'm very very grateful for you guys. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, y'all. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to get ready for work, cause girl, I just got me a little nine to five. So I thank you guys for all watching my video once again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on all my social medias. It will be in the description box down below. And y'all start reading my description boxes because I really be putting questions and I be telling y'all things about the video or like I be. I really be conversating with y'all in the description. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you leave a like so my videos could go out there more. Um, but thank you guys once again for subscribing. 
<laughs> I am very, very thankful for all of you. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next video. I'm out.